Now, I know what you're probably saying. You're saying, Gavin, that is not a dragon. And it's not that huge either. I, c come on, is that how you're going to be? Mere seconds into the video? Absolutely unreal. I'm a big Omega Supreme fan, and before the Siege Titan version of the character came out, Huge Dragon was definitely my favourite incarnation of the big lug. Immediately, I loved the proportions. It was a step away from the usual squat and chunky Omegas we've seen in the past. And it's a beautifully sculpted toy overall. Lots of detail, nice bright colours, and a ton of charm. He's also reasonably poseable, which isn't something anyone would ever ask for an Omega Supreme to be, but it's a decent bonus. So on one arm, we've got his grabby claw, and on the other, a huge cannon. His trademark wings are removable, of course, and the visor can lift up. This is actually a different head than the toy came with. There was an add-on kit where you got this tiny, adorable Omega Supreme that also came with a replacement head that better matched the cartoon incarnation. I don't know where the original is right now, and since I prefer this one, I don't really care. We have a fair few accessories too, none of which feel particularly congress with Huge Dragon's overall look, but it's always nice to get stuff bunged in, isn't it? We have these boxes that contain... Like, I don't know, I think this is from Mechfan's Toys Lost Planet line. It's like Diaclone, maybe. You know, either way, I was really unsure what to do with these. You open them up and there's these little robot looking things, a tank style one, a flying drone style one. And it was only before writing this video that I thought, I wonder if the Wee Man could maybe use those. And yes, you can attach the parts to the little Omega Supreme and isn't that great? Kinda. You know, there are these baggies that are chock full of extra bits and bobs to stick on the frames and... Cheers, I suppose. There's also these two massive silver guns that feel really out of place with Omega here, but they have elbows, which you seldom see in a gun. These will come into play a little bit later if you just take a second and breathe. Transformation is really just pulling the boy apart and reconfiguring them into the rocket launching platform we all know and tolerate. Look, the head turns into a wee tank. Is that not fantastic? There isn't really much to it. The arms come off and become the rocket, the main body becomes the launch platform, and the wings become the encircling tracks. The legs turn into these little fucking train stations. Either way, it's a design I've always enjoyed, and this is a great representation of it. Repugnus enjoys being around this as it makes him feel big. <laughs> the rocket even has a tiny wee door, which I could just about fit Victory Saber's Brain Master onto. That's cute. There are a few other configurations you can try, if you're so inclined. Using the centerpiece and these two silver guns, you can make a kind of walking spider tank. Cool, you know, if, you, if you're in for something less mobile, there's this big cannon mode, which I wouldn't deny is fun, but it doesn't keep me up at night either, kicking my legs in the air as I bounce my arse on the mattress. There are a lot of configurations out there, but honestly, none of them really hit the spot like the standard Omega Supreme setup. Huge Dragon is huge fun. There. I said it. And I know that I said at the start that this was my favourite Omega Supreme until the Titan version came out. And you know what? He still is because the Titan version is a boring bastard. Right, cheerio, bye.